everybody! Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial brought you by Vitorials.net. So, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this vector ornamental flower. And using this tactic you can create a bunch of different designs like so, 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 so and so. All these flowers I grab in one freebie and uh, you can download this freebie following the link in the description. So let's get started from a new document, go to file, new, make sure that you're working in pixels, click create, I have already created my one, and uh, go to ellipse tool, click on your art, artboard and enter the value 366 pixels for width and 366 pixels for height and click ok to create this circle and set the stroke color to the circle to black and the uh, stroke weight to the circle to two points. Then double click on the selection tool to open the move dialog box and set the move to 32 pixels to horizontal and minus 521 pixels for vertical move and click copy to create the, this duplicate. Then open the move dialog box once again and enter the values in this uh, red square 364 pixels and 16 pixels for uh, vertical move and click copy to create third duplicate and once more we need to open this dialog box and uh, open set the values 100 minus 157 uh, pixels for ver uh, for horizontal move and 285 pixels for vertical move and click copy. Then we need to enter the combination Ctrl C Ctrl F or Command C con Command F on your Mac to copy to copy and then pa paste in front. So select select your duplicate and uh, enter the value 500 823 pixels for height and weight and then we need to open the move dialog box again and uh, enter the values minus 100 pixels for horizontal move and 13.5 uh, pixels for vertical move 13.5 pixels for vertical move and click OK now we need to select all of these circles go to the shape builder tool and select to create the petal like so and so and delete all uh, all the stuff select move it and delete this stuff and now I will I will go to the delete anchor point tool to delete these two I will scale control plus command plus on your mark to scale I will adjust the shape of my petal a little bit and then delete this point and adjust the shape of my petal like so beautiful and also I want to set the fill color to the, of this uh, smaller part and then select right right click and group your petal and holding alt key or option key on your mac make it more narrow now we need to go to the effect distort and transform transform set the point of transformation to bottom left set the number of copies to 5 and set the angle of rotation to 60 degrees check preview this is our design and click OK. Now we have a flower, beautiful flower without ornament. Now I will draw all the ornamental stuff, all these swirls and arcs inside this group. And just because we walk inside the parent group, Adobe Illustrator will do all the hard work for us. It will duplicate the ornament inside another petals.
now we need to draw a spiral go to the spiral tool we hit a few times down button key to reduce the numbers of the wall hit air to change the direction and then release it and I will adjust the shape of my swivel to create more than like question mark Now we can modify the center, for this go to the polar rectangle grid. Do not release the left mouse button key, hit a couple of times keyboard down arrow key to reduce the number of circles and uh, click a right arrow key on your keyboard to increase the number of sectors on your polar grid and then Holding shift and left mouse button key, enlarge your polar grid and release left mouse button key. Then go to the shape builder tool, select the desired sector and delete all unnecessary stuff. we can create this vector flow in Adobe Illustrator. If you like my tutorials, please thumb up and subscribe. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.